Painted wooden sculptures are not the most recognized art form in Florence, but they were important for devotional means, and they're present in many churches in the city and beyond. They're the focus of a new exhibition now open at the Uffizi Gallery from March 22nd to August 28th, 2016. The exhibition on polychrome sculpture in Tuscany is the first in a series of uh, big exhibitions that we've planned for the Uffizi for this year, 2016. On the one hand, it addresses the question of uh, sculpture being colored. On the other hand, however, it also addresses the question of painting on a surface which isn't flat, on a surface that is irregular, that is three-dimensional. Uh, in fact, during the Renaissance, there was a very, very uh, close collaboration between sculptors and painters. Some of the greatest painters uh, worked together with some of the greatest sculptors, but sometimes painters, uh, which we remember now, uh, which are very famous now, worked uh, together with sculptors who are forgotten. So there's lots of news in this exhibition, lots of new, re uh, new results, scholarly results, but also for the vast public. The show masterfully demonstrates a close link between sculpture and painting studios, telling an important part of the story of art heretofore ignored, especially by the general public. Exhibition curators have combed Italy's churches long and wide to find, restore, and borrow some sculptures made by Florentine artists and dispersed as far as the Dolomite Mountains. There's a new attribution to Donatello, and some fascinating three-dimensional works painted by artists who normally work on flat surfaces proving that this medium was a respected and important one in Quattrocento Florence, participated by the most important sculptors and painters of the time.